This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. <sighs> Alright, Against the Odds time. Playing some Liliana Tribal in Modern. And we'll try this. I mean, we have turn three Liliana of one form or another. Birds of Paradise for our opponent. Yeah, let's just tap land go. Opponent cracks wooded foothills, gets a stomping grounds, untapped, and a kitchen sphinx. Yup. Alright, there's Urborg. Well, let's just play Marsh Flats, pass the turn. Next turn, we can start Liliana ing. Opponent gets in with the sphinx. Yup. Down to 17. We do have many Lilianas. Temple Garden, untapped. And P in the Lar. Ugh. Alright, grab a swamp. So I think our plan is to play this, play Liliana of Dark Realms, kill Kitchen Finx, uh, pass the turn, and then hopefully sweep things up with Damnation, and then Liliana take over from there. Bonnet gets in for six. Yup. We take it. Down to eight. Ugh. Eldritch Evolution. Yikes. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty fine. Like, sure, we're at five, but now we just... Play Mutaval, Damnation, pass the turn. And now, I mean, yeah, Lightning Bolts and stuff can get us, but we have Liliana's like crazy. Voice of Resurgence for our opponent. So, play Liliana, take down Liliana, get rid of the voice, play a Swamp, and pass the turn. Opponent finds a land, cracks it, gets a Forest... Renegade Rallier. Yeah, that's a little annoying. Gonna get back voice. That actually might beat us, come to think of it. We'll see. So we take zero here. Ooh, Gifted Aetherborn is actually pretty good. Play Gifted Aetherborn. Play Liliana. Keep the new Liliana. Take up Liliana. And pass the turn. See if we can top deck better than our opponent. Also, they draw a path and we lose. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Uh, that's a that's a good draw for the opponent. Very good draw for the opponent. Oh my goodness! Worst draw for us. All right. Well, that's gonna do it. Unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think we can win now. <laughs> Eldritch Evolution is literally just the best card in your deck for three mana. Opponent attacks, attacks. Well, fire up Mutavault. Block and block. Opponent gets the voice token. We go up to seven. All right, opponent now draws a land, but they're still uh, doing this. Come on, deck. Oh, deck. Well, play a land, take up Liliana. Taking down doesn't do much of anything. Pass the turn. Oh, sad times. Opponent goes at Liliana, goes at Liliana. Well, block the manifest. Liliana takes three. Scavenging ooze. Manifest. Good God. Ah! Uh, well, I guess we can take down Liliana. Not that this really helps us. Oh, uh, that was a bad time to draw all of our Bloodstained Myers. Pass the turn. Opponent had a Kiki-Jiki manifested. I guess we're not just dead, but we're very dead. Yes, opponent eats a bunch of stuff. Whisperwood Elemental. Opponent attacks with everything. So now we have to block the ooze. Or it kills us. We kill the ooze. Down to four. Opponent. <laughs> uh, let's go to sideboarding oh that was miserable so bring in ratchet brahms bring in bantu's last reckoning go down some thought seizes bring in maybe a relic of progenitus over a fulminator mage and i guess we can go down sign and blood try it like that all right we get to play first and i guess we keep this it is a bit land heavy but we do get to kill things and eh, let's start here pass the turn so we can fatal push something turn three liliana that doesn't seem like the worst Ooh. well let's play a swamp pass the turn I do like this, and this Liliana actually kills quite a bit against our opponent's deck. Stomping Grounds, and Voice of Resurgence. Well, let's play Urborg. Just play Liliana, take up on Voice, pass the turn. Next turn we could Liliana and Fatal Push, thanks to Untedaki, whatever that is. Fatal Push for, er, Kitchen Finks for our opponent. Yup. More Liliana of Dark Realms. Oh, play Mutavault. And then I guess we just damnation. Opponent does get back their stuff. 
But then we take up on Kitchen Fangs, pass the turn. Hopefully they can't somehow make this token kill our Liliana. Opponent plays a land. Birds of Paradise. And Scavenging Use. Yup. Opponent hits Liliana for three. Sure. And passes. Well, I think we just try to clear the board here. So, Fatal push the token. Take up on Birds. Play Mutavolt. Play another Liliana. Kill the Scavenging Ooze. And pass the turn. I wish this Liliana stayed on the battlefield after killing something. Opponent gets a Sacred Foundry. Breeding Pool. Tapped. And the Kitchen Finks. Yep. And opponent passes. Ooh. Big Liliana. We'll play a Swamp. Play Death Majesty. Off our Soul Land. Make a 2-2. Two -two. Take up on Kitchen Finks. And pass the turn. Two Liliana's down. That's a good start. And passes. Well, let's make a zombie. Mill Liliana's. Play Liliana. <laughs> Three Liliana's. Search for a swamp. Play the swamp. Take up on Kitchen Finks. And pass the turn. <laughs> oh, we're one short. We have Liliana Tron. Do they have cord? What are they cord for? Ugh, Resto. Resto's actually annoying. That can start hitting our Lilianas. What Liliana are they most scared of? Or they could somehow kiki jiki, and that would just make us very sad. Opponent. All right, gets in at Death Majesty. Sure. Plays a Ghost Quarter and passes. Ugh, Urborg. Well, kill a Restoration Angel with Liliana. <laughs> I think we will not give it plus seven, plus seven. First, let's Liliana attack with a couple zombies, or one zombie. Opponent takes it. Take up on Kitchen Fangs. Play Marsh Flats, pass the turn. Whew, all right. No flashy threats. With no Restoration Angel, our opponent can't go infinite. Opponent passes. We draw more lands, so search for a Swamp. Play the Swamp. Make a zombie. There's a gifted Aetherborn. Pick up on Kitchen Fangs. Do some attacking. We're trying to believe back enough blockers if our opponent goes kiki jiki copy Kitchen Fangs, we don't just lose. Our Planeswalkers. Alright, there's a voice. Opponent passes. Come on, action! Gifted Aetherborn is okay. Well, step one, ultimate Liliana. Step two, make zombies with our Liliana. This is going to be a lot of zombies really quickly. Step three, search for a swamp. Play the swamp. Play gifted Aetherborn. And I think we just pass and animate our Muta Vaults in response to this Liliana emblem to get more zombies. So activate Muta Vault. Activate Muta Vault. This should be a lot of zombies. Uh, not bad. All right, opponent. Well, you better have your combo this turn because we have the zombies. And our post code is it up! <laughs> Liliana's the power of Liliana's combined! We never found a gray merchant, and we milled a lot of our deck, but Liliana power, uh, pretty good. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that again. Um, okay. We can keep this. Land? That's an Urborg. That does count. So, let's just Urborg and Inquisition. Ooh, thank god. Mirren Crusader must be gone. Pona has not much going on in that hand, thanks to the mulligan. And we even have a Grave Merchant. There's a forest for our opponent. And passes. Well, play the Cloud Keep. Pass the turn. That Whisperwood Elemental can be annoying in the long run. Uh, Eternal Witness gets back Mirren Crusader. Well, thankfully we have this Damnation. So opponent passes. Ooh, and another Grave Merchant. Well, play Mutavolt. Play Liliana the Last Hope. Shoot down Eternal Witness. Pass the turn. We are one land away from Grey Merchants. Opponent's one land away from that whispery thing. We're probably going to have to spend our Damnation here. Mirren Crusader. I'll play Mutavolt. Damnation. Take up Liliana. Pass the turn. Uh, can we beat a Whisperwood? Opponent just landed right into it. Another Sweeper would be spectacular. Opponent makes a 2-2. I'll play a land, play Big Liliana with our soul land, make a 2-2, take up on Whisperwood, and yeah, I think we're just going to Fatal Push the Manifest, just in case they could flip it. Eh, they couldn't, but that's fine. Pass the turn. 
Well, can our opponent's Whisperwood be our Liliana's? Opponent gets in at last hope. Well, we will block. And opponent, not Eternal Witness. That would be bad. Birds of Paradise, okay. And Scavenging Ooze, okay. And, yep, Manifest. How do we do this? Pick up on Birds of Paradise. Make a zombie. Play Grey Merchant. Drain our opponent for a bunch and pass the turn. And maybe we should have focused on keeping our Liliana's high. Opponent's gonna start eating stuff with ooze, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe that would have been the better plan, just to go all in on ultimating Liliana's instead of killing the birds. That might have made more sense. Opponent plays a land. The good news is, if our opponent attacks, attacks, we can definitely double block this Whisperwood. And once Whisperwood is gone, our life gets so much easier. That's one of our opponent's best cards against us. Goes at last hope. If they don't attack with Whisperwood, then we just block Chump and ultimate. Goes at last hope. All right, well, that's easy. So we block Ooze, block Manifest. They can actually flip their Manifest? It's a Kitchen Fangs, all right. I think this is okay for us, though, because we can just double ultimate Liliana's and play a Grey Merchant along the way. And another Liliana! Well, let's play another Grey Merchant, drain our opponent, make a zombie. Yeah, I think we don't blow up things with Liliana. Emblem Liliana. Pass the turn. Get a bunch more zombies. It feels like our, our emblems might be enough here. Our opponent's only got one card, so they shouldn't be able to combo. And our opponent scoops it up. Cannot beat the Liliana's. Too much. <laughs> Too much Liliana value. Grey Virgins, Liliana's, Ultimates, Ultimates. Uh, yeah, sweet. All right, against the odds time, playing some Liliana Tribal in Modern. And one Liliana is not going to cut it. All lands, one Liliana. We got to ship this one. This is the opposite problem, but at least we have stuff to do on one mana. Not much better than the first hand, though, honestly. Bloodstained Mire for our opponent. And passes. That land is good. So let's just swamp an Inquisition. Thought Scour, Fatal Push, Death Shadow. Well, take Thought Scour. If our opponent Death Shadows, we can just Fatal Push it. No land cracking. Scalding Tarn for our opponent. And passes. Another land is super good. So let's Thought Seize. Opponent cracks. If our opponent counters here, that's fine. That means they drew Stubborn Denial and we Thought Seize Stubborn Denial. Yep. All right. So play Urborg, pass the turn. Could use some of our cheaper Lilianas. Especially Liliana the Veil would be good here. Opponent might think we're on 8 rack. Another land. Untapped. Down to 14. Down to 12. So they can play a Death Shadow. Yep, there's Death Shadow. That's not bad. So play Bloodstained Mire. Thought sees our opponent. Make sure the coast is clear for Fatal Push. Fatal Push, Stubborn Denial. So take Stubborn Denial. Fatal Push, Death Shadow. And pass the turn. Opponent plays an island that we knew about and passes. All right, pass the turn. We'd rather be playing Liliana's. Opponent plays a land and passes. All right, play a swamp, pass the turn. Don't these swamps look cool? They're all like washed out or something, inverted. I don't know why Moto does that. Opponent has another land and passes. Well, that's Inquisition. Not going to get any better. I guess we take Terminate, pass the turn. Would love to get this Liliana down, though. All right, come on, land. Land for Liliana. Do it, do it, do it. Yes! Oh, no! Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh. Oh, boy. I'm going to get yelled at for that one. I'm going to get severely yelled at. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We could have played Liliana. I got so excited that it was a land, I just snapped it off. Oh, I'll have Tomer edit that part out. Opponent draws Coligan's Command. So we'll discard Damnation. Replays Death Shadow. Oh, that was so bad. Fatal Push Death Shadow. If we draw another 5 drop, I'm gonna cry. Come on, deck, you can do it. Or even just like a Thought Seize would be bad. Alright, well, this is not as beautiful as it could have been, but we'll take it. Oh, that pun. We could add more Liliana's. Pass the turn. Yeah, we definitely should have had Liliana Vest last turn. Opponent plays a land. Well, this isn't bad. We do get another Liliana. Liliana of Dark Realms. Oh, we would have had Liliana Tron. Search for a swamp. Now our land troubles are pretty much over. Play the swamp. Take up Liliana. Pass the turn. We have tons of removal if our opponent draws a creature. And our opponent scoops it up. So the punt was bad and sad, but we are unpunished. Relics actually seem pretty good. Fatal push is good. Maybe we just go down a Thought Seize. And maybe we'll just go one. 
and go down one more thought, Z's. Try it like that. Ooh. Well, Uber Liliana hand. I guess we keep. Hopefully we don't get too shredded by discard. Bloodstain Mire for our opponent and passes. We'll play the swamp. Pass the turn. Watery Grave. Untapped. Incoming Thought Scour. Yup. Mills and Nile Spellbomb. Hmm. Opponent probably does not know exactly what we're doing. Down to 15. Scalding Tarn. And passes. Well, let's play Urborg and leave up Fatal Push. Opponent cracks. Watery Grave. Untapped down to 12. There's a Swamp. And opponent has Liliana. Interesting. <laughs> Liliana Wars. We actually don't have a way of just killing that Liliana. We'll play Marsh Flats. Play our own Liliana. Take up Liliana. Pass the turn. Opponent. Thought Scours. Okay. Cycles down to 10. Thought Seizes. Well, has a few options. Takes Death's Majesty. Plays Bloodstained Mire. Takes up Liliana. And passes. Well, let's sign in Blood. Play Bloodstained Mire. Play Relic of Progenitus. Take up Liliana. And yeah, let's pass. Opponent plays Blue to Delta. Takes up Liliana. And passes. All right, start relicking. You know what? I think we're just going to crack it. I think that makes the most sense. And we got enough land, so let's crack our Marsh Flats. Opponent cracks. Interesting. Steam Vents. Untap down to five. Okay. Ooh, going to destroy our Relic. Okay. We get a Swamp. Play a Swamp. Uh, play Gray Merchant. Drain our opponent down to one. Take up Liliana. And pass the turd. Pass the turd. Opponent can no longer crack their fetches. Any, gr any Gray Merchant is lethal. Takes up. We actually kind of want Gray Merchant to die now. And passes. Well, play Bloodstained Mire. Play Liliana Vess. Pay for Stubborn Denial. Well, they have another Stubborn Denial? All right, two Stubborn Denials. Take down Liliana. Gray Merchant. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. No lucky. All right, pass the turn. Double Stubborn Denial. What do you got, opponent? Ticks up Liliana. Not going for the ultimate yet. Tassiger. Sure. Gray Merchant. Gray Merchant on top of our deck. Ooh. Well, Inquisition our opponent. Make sure there's nothing going on over there. Snapcaster Mage. Okay. Ooh, does that let them kill our Liliana? I guess it technically does. That's not ideal. Well, we discard Damnation. Kills our Liliana. Oh, that's a nightmare. Well, Fatal Push Snapcaster. Play Liliana. Kill Tassiger. Watch us lose because of this. Pass the turn. All right, opponent ultimates. Here comes the zombies. Come on, Gray Merchant. Well, crack Bloodstain Mire. Thin our deck a bit. Opponent gets zombies. Well, attack our opponent. They have to chump. Play Liliana. Take down Liliana. Pass the turd. Oh, come on, deck. Gray Merchant. Gray Merchant. Opponent takes up Liliana. Get some zombies. Well, play Mutavault. Take up Liliana. We are running out of time. Come on, Grey Merchant. Come on. You can do it. Opponent has Nile Spellbomb. That actually gets rid of Liliana, the last hope, being an out. Gonna kill Liliana. Kill Liliana. All right. Damnation is also a win here, or it should be. Takes up Liliana. Cracks Nile Spellbomb. Opponent draws. Plays a Street Wraith. All right. Well, sacrifice. Grab a Swamp. Gray Merchant, Damnation, lots of things that win us this game. Come on, deck. Uh, all right. Well, this is it here. Last turn. Last turn, last turn. Opponent finds Serum Visions. We've had so many turns. All right, opponent gets in with the dorks. Down to four. Make zombies. Come on, deck. One time. One time with the top deck. That doesn't do it. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we lost there. Oh, ha, 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 ha. All right, we're on the play. So Bloodstained Mire, go. Oh well. Scalding Tarn for our opponent. Cracks it. Watery Grave. Down to 17. And Thought Scour. Main phase. Okay. We draw. <sighs> All right, Fatal Push. We really need a land next turn, or things go very sad. Blood Crypt for our opponent. Untapped. There's a Thought Seize. Takes Liliana. Our opponent's just thought sees flooded. Takes Liliana. Well, that makes our hand worse. Well, it is a land. Play Bloodstained Mire. Pass the turn. 
Opponent puts two to the bottom with their Serum Vision, cycles Street Wraith, plays Nile Spellbomb, not super relevant. We draw. Well, Sign of Blood's actually a pretty good draw. So let's draw a couple cards. <laughs> More Urborgs. Play Bloodstained Mire, pass to the turn. Opponent Thought Scours. Oh, they're just desperate for a land. Okay. Exiles are Liliana's that weren't coming back anyway. Polluted Delta, cracks it. Watery Grave, untapped. Just a certain visions. Both to the bottom. Play Liliana. Search for a swamp. Grab a swamp. Play the swamp. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a land. And asses. Well, search for a swamp. Grab the swamp. Play the swamp. And I think we're just going to pass. We're getting to the point where if we can draw a gifted Aetherborn, a three mana Liliana, then we're just going to be able to straight up win with Grey Merchant. When it runs out, Snapcaster. For Thought Scour, and Thought Scour, so now we just Fatal Push Snapcaster. Opponent cracks Delta, Steam Vents tapped, okay. Mills, nothing too relevant. Opponent's under three minutes. Runs out of Death Shadow, and Liliana, all right. Well, Fatal Push, push Death Shadow, takes up, we discard Urborg, crack Bloodstain Mire, thin our deck a bit, crack Bloodstain Mire. Thin our deck a bit. Come on, deck. Gifted Aetherborn. Well, we'll take Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize our opponent. Take Snapcaster. Gray Merchant. Our opponent down to one. Tutor up a Swamp. And pass to the turn. Oh, we are so close. We need one point of damage. Opponent takes down Liliata. Gets rid of our Gray Merchant. Now we need Gray Merchant to just straight up win the game. Coligan's Command. Gets back Death Shadow. Plays Death Shadow. Well... Fatal Puff Death Shadow, search for a swamp, grab a swamp, pass the turn. Is it instant replay? Coligan's Command gets back Death Shadow, hits Liliana, plays Death Shadow. Well, Damnation, search for a swamp, play a swamp, pass the turn. Inquisition, that's a whiff. Hopefully they can't play another Death Shadow. Thought Scours, come on, no Death Shadow, no Death Shadow. Mills and Angler, oh, they drew it, they drew another one. Oh my god. Well, play Relic. Crack Relic, draw a card. Play a Swamp. Liliana, Liliana. Oh, they... No! Oh my god. Alright, pass the turn. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, pwn it. No way. Alright, Liliana. Hey, come on, Grey Merchant off the top. It would only be fair. Well, tick up Liliana. No swamps. Play Liliata. Make a zombie. Play Mutavault. Pass the turn. No top decks. Come on, no top decks. Opponent ticks down. Tell me no. Tell me no. Goes attacking. If they just top decked here. Fire up Mutavault. Alright, block Death Shadow. Whoo! Staying alive, staying alive. Ticks down Liliana. And time's out. Oh, man! What was on top of our deck? What was on top of our deck? We gotta try to see. Show us. Would we have won? I mean, we did win, but would we... I mean, I guess we would have been at semi-parody for a while? Well, a win's a win. I don't know what would have happened. I can't see what we would have drawn. I can't see. Wow. What a game for Liliana's. All right, against the odds time, playing some more Liliana Tribal in modern ooh all right no liliana's but lots of discard oh that's our opponent up to well let's bloodstain mire crack it grab a swamp and let's just inquisition oh goodness 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 all right well let's just go up the curve we'll take inquisition <laughs> opponent plays a land we take smallpox opponent plays a land we take Liliana, or we just draw a Swamp and take both this turn. Well, Inquisition, take Smallpox, play Mutavault, pass the turn. Oh boy, we're gonna get racked. Yep, Wrench Mind. So we'll discard Fulminator Thoughtseize. Come on, something. Uh, Big Liliana was not the something. Oh boy, oh boy, no good options. Well, we're gonna have to take Liliana and hope that we can work around Shrieking Affliction. Yikes. Swamp for our opponent. There's Affliction. Play Urborg, pass the turn. I, uh, I don't know about attacking there. Oh, not wrench mind. Oh, boy. All right. Now life is super bad. We take three. 
Draw a pretty dead Fatal Push. Well, we're going to try to attack. If they got Fatal Push, then I guess you got us. What are we even hoping to draw? We take three. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a land and passes. Damnation's not great. If we can get to this Liliana, we might have hope. Opponent plays a land. Liliana, get back Grey Merchant. That's a potential out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we're drawing all the expensive Lilianas. Oh boy. Raven's Crime is bad news. Discard Damnation. Now all of our opponent's lands are discard spells. Discard Fatal Push. Discard Liliana Vest. Yeah, we're... Now we're in super trouble. Down to eight. Fire up Mutavault. Get in with Mutavault. Pass the turn. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're... Now we're done. Discard Liliana. Yikes. Down to five. Attack Liliana. Actually, this math just doesn't line up. Discard, take three. Liliana's at three. Yeah. All right. Whew. Well, hopefully we got some sideboard stuff for this matchup. I don't know if we really do, though. We have Ratchet Bombs and Relic of Progenitus, which are good. Surgicals, perhaps, could be worthwhile. Because we have to go down this discard, I think. At least some of it. Go down the Damnations, for sure. Fine, 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 fine. Fulminator, probably don't want... Let's bring in one needle. Let's try it like that. All right, we get to play first. Okay, I guess this is fine-ish. So Bloodstained Mire, go. Swamp for our opponent. And the Rack, okay. Take zero. Well, play Swamp, crack Bloodstained Mire, get a Swamp, run out Gifted Aetherborn. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. There's Wrench Mine, so we will definitely just discard this needle. Take zero. Get in with Gifted Aetherborn. Uh, do we even play Liliana? Let's tick up. Discard Cloud Keep. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this Liliana plan. Opponent discards a land. There's a Mute Vault. Shrieking Affliction. Yikes. And passes. So we take one. Oh man, Ratchet Bomb would be wonderful. Uh, Gray Merchant would also be wonderful. Well, let's get in with Gifted Aethermorn. Play Marge Flats, pass the turd. Just hope our opponent doesn't have discard, because this Grey Merchant would be so good. Ugh, more Muta Vaults. Oh, there's the Thoughtsies. Now we're probably dead. Unless we draw Ratchet Bomb, then we're very much alive. So we take five, or they kill Liliana? Yeah, they ignore Liliana. We draw more Lilianas. I don't even know if it's worth it to attack. Probably not. Let's just pass. I guess it's just live until we find a Ratchet Bomb. Another swamp for our opponent. Oh dear. Now we're dead in a lot of different ways. Yeah, there goes Gifted Aetherborn. I don't know if it's... Uh, well, Ratchet Bomb. We need that Ratchet Bomb. I think that's our only hope. Big reanimating Liliana would also be interesting. Hits us down to 15. Racks us down to 14. Well, okay. I don't know if this does it, but it might give us a chance. Play Liliana Vess... Search for a card. The problem is all of our stuff just dies. We discard this, our stuff dies. I mean, we can get our Ratchet Bomb, but I don't think it's fast enough here. Because we're going to take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we got to wait another turn, so... A turn too slow. Liliana Vest coming through, though. Like, that does give us a way to find all of our sideboard cards, but... Not going to happen this time. Yeah, there goes Liliana. Here comes the Mute Vaults. And yeah, that's just game. There's no... I guess we can see if they attack our Planeswalkers for some reason, but eh, it's game. Opponent hits us down to 10. Down to 4. Yeah, and then we just draw Ratchet Bomb and lose. Well, that did not go well. Yikes, that feels like an actual hard matchup. Alright, against Thoughts time, and our deck has cursed us with a One Lander. So, yeah... It means we got a mulligan, unfortunately. I guess this is slightly better. We gotta find another land for any of this to matter. Mountain for our opponent. And passes. Play Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. Opponent passes. Okay. So play a swamp. Crack, swamp. Draw a couple cards. And pass the turn. What did our opponent keep? Oh, this is not what I thought. Something very different than what I thought. Oh, Kadaltha Rebirth. Interesting. So this has got to be like a Bushwhacker deck. Well, let's Inquisition. See what's in our opponent's hand. Oh, it's like the turn two token deck. I see. The If they draw a Bushwhacker off the top, we probably lose this turn. 
So oh, the odds are in our favor. I mean, I guess our opponent could also not go for it, but it seems unlikely. All right, send me in Spirit Guide. Well, that was our draw for their turn, so that's good. Burning Tree Emissary. Mog or Marshall. Yeah, this worked pretty much exactly how we hoped. Opponent passes. So kill War Marshall. Play Mutavault. Damn the board. And, I mean, I think essentially that should just be game. That was close. There was definitely a window there. Well, let's play Urborg and just get down... <laughs> OG Lily. Liliana Vez. Might as well make our opponent start discarding. Yep, battle him doesn't do much without a board full of creatures. Our opponent was close. They were a bushwhacker away from probably just winning. Alright, land number two. Passes. Ooh, more lilies. Well, make our opponent discard. Play Lily. Discard. And our opponent scoops it up. Yeah, once we survived that one turn, life was much easier. So Ratchet Bombs, definitely in. Bantu's Last Reckonings, definitely in. Relic doesn't do anything. And then maybe we just go down Thought Seizes? Let's try it like that. Alright, we get a reasonable hand. Mountain for our opponent. And passes. Well, let's just Swamp and Inquisition of Kozilek. Oh, oops. Uh, well, we took a Kudol 3 birth. <laughs> probably would not have taken that if I had seen our opponent's hand. What did they have? Yeah, probably would have taken something different. Although, Gifted Aetherborn should still be good here. Yeah, opponent passes. So, play the Swamp. Play Gifted Aetherborn. Opponent passes. Well, let's Inquisition. Take... Bushwhacker, play Urborg, play Ratchet Bomb, and I guess we start getting in. That seems like the thing to do. Hit our opponent, down to 18, and gets in with the Burning Tree. Back down to 20, and passes. Ooh. All right, well, Marsh Flats, crack it. Get a Swamp. Play Liliana. Search for a Swamp. And pass the turn. Opponent passes. Get a swamp. Play a swamp. Play Liliana Vess. Make our opponent discard. <laughs> These Lilianas are so sweet. Discards Infernal Plunge. All right. Pass the turn. Opponent passes. Well, let's search out a swamp. I guess we could just keep tutoring up more lilies. Get a swamp. Play the swamp. Yeah, let's just make our opponent discard. Get in. I think we start attacking with Gifted Aetherborn. Hit our opponent. Play Fulminator on defense. And pass the turn. And we got the GG's. Yeah, turn two token is either insane or it does nothing. And this was, unfortunately for our opponent, one of the do-nothings. But, well, he's still doing it. All right, against the odds time. Playing some, oh my god, holy lilies, Liliana Tribal in Modern, and I mean, I don't know if this hand can possibly win, but we are going to try it. <laughs> oh, this is the Lilianist hand of all time. We do need lands. Let's see. So Marsh Flats go. Temple of Deceit for our opponent. And passes. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well... I can't believe I'm saying this, but we might actually have too many Lilianas in hand. <laughs> uh, if we just draw lands for the next couple turns, and our opponent doesn't counter all of our stuff. Oh, it's ad nauseum? Yikes. Well, land, please? Oh, uh, fatal push. Not feeling good about this one. I guess we might as well attack with Mutavault. Our Lilianas have betrayed us. Get in with Mutavault. Pass the turn. Serum Visions for our opponent. Leaves one on top. Plays a Seachrome Coast. And Prism. Yeah, we're probably just dead next turn, no matter what we do. Alright, fourth Liliana. This is awkward. Well, ugh. it's hard to be mad, because the hand is so ridiculous. But if we don't draw a land, we're probably going to scoop. Yep, there's Unlife, so that means Ad Nauseum ends the game. There's a land. Well, sometimes it's just not meant to be. Although, we are going to set the record for most Lilianas in hand when we lose. Alright, they have it. Yup. 
Well, too many Liliana's that game, unfortunately. So on to sideboarding, we get to bring in Surgicals, Collective Brutalities, maybe Ratchet Bombs. We have to go down Fatal Pushes, because they're literally dead cards. Fulminators are probably just better than Gifted Aetherborns, actually. All right, let's try it like this. Ooh, okay. Well, this we will keep. Discard, discard, Surgical. Still pretty sweet. So Swamp and Inquisition. Um, I guess we just take Sleight of Hand. Pass the turn. Pony has a Temple. Does some Scrying. To the top. And passes. Well, play the land. Pass the turn. Dark Slick Shores for our opponent. And passes. Not even Sleight of Hand. Interesting. Well, play the Swamp. And I guess we just run out Liliana. Liliana the Veil would be much better, but eh, take what we can get. Take up Liliana. Next turn we might, we might tick down and see if we can hit Fulminator. Not sure why our opponent's not sleight of handing. City of Brass and Unlife. All right, opponent passes. Well, I think we have to collect a Brutality. Just all cantrips. Well, take Serum Visions. Tick up Liliana, play Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. The problem is if they just hit Ad Nauseam, we lose. Just drawing more discard would be fine. Another sleight of hand. Come on, Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize. Off the top. Plays a tap land. And, well, let's crack Bloodstained Mire. Get a Swamp. Fulminator Mage. Well, play Fulminator. Blow up City of Brass. Take up Liliana. Pass the turn. Still might just be dead. Opponent has the land. Did they draw it? Did not. Just a lab maniac. All right, we're staying alive. Come on, Thoughtseize. Liliana of Dark Realms. I'll take down Liliana. Get back Fulminator. Play Fulminator. Blow up the land. Pass the turn. I don't know if this plan can win. We're getting lots of Lily value. We're just so close to losing. Gets in it, Lily. Yep. And passes. Ooh, that might be good news. Inquisition our opponent. Take a spirit guide. We might just have to extract spirit guide, actually. Liliana number two. Take up Liliana. Discard Last Hope. Take up Liliana. And I think we just extract right now why we know our opponent can't disrupt it. So take their stuff. Now they need a lot of mana to be able to win. And pass the turn. And now we can just keep getting back Fulminators? Opponent passes. Well, tick down Liliana. Get rid of Lab Maniac. Tick down Liliana. We're going to have the Liliana Tron very shortly. Get back Fulminator. Replay Fulminator. Blow up a land. Play Mutavault. Pass the turn. Wow, we are Liliana Vess away from all four. <laughs> it's working. It's working. What do you got about it? Oh, no. Ugh, that's a lot of mana. That's a scary amount of mana. What do we draw? Marsh Flats. Play Liliana of Dark Realms. We could lose this turn. They are going to have to top deck something, though. So take up Liliana. Opponent pitches Angel's Grace. So take up Liliana. Take up Liliana. Grab a Swamp. Get in with Mutavault. Hit our opponent. Down to 17. And pass the turn. Another prism! They can't kill us yet, though. If this does mean if they ever just top deck Ad Nauseam, we lose. So crack Marge Flats. Grab a Swamp. Hmm. So collect a Brutality. Drain our opponent. Down to 15. Play the Swamp. Take up Liliana. Actually, I don't know if our opponent has win conditions. They can draw their deck, but I'm not sure they can kill us. So fire up Mutavault. Pump up our Mutavault. Get in with Mutavault. Hit our opponent. Take up Liliana. And pass the turn. Opponent's down to eight. Come on. No big draws. No whammies. Just a scry land. Okay. That doesn't kill us. Leaves a card on top. We draw. Ooh, surgical. Well, we gotta cast it. Actually, I guess we don't have to. Search for a swamp. We can do the little buffer here. Take up Liliana. Liliana. Discard the swamp. Take down Liliana, get back Fulminator, play Fulminator, blow up a land, fire a Mutavault, hit our opponent down to six, and I think we just pass, leave up our Surgical, Serum Visions for our opponent, gets a redraw, and passes, okay, so 
Take up Liliana. Discard Liliana. Opponent discarded Unlife. Take up Liliana. Search for a Swamp. Last one. Play the Swamp. Fire up Mutavault. Hit our opponent down to four. Take up our Liliana. Pass the turn. Next turn, we can ultimate Liliana. Oh man, our Liliana value. Are they gonna. Our Liliana's gonna grind out this game. Just a Prism. Yup. I think our Liliana's are getting there. Another Mutavault. Well, it's ultimate number one. Liliana the Veil, ultimate. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's fine. Keeps the Prisms. Fire up our Mutavault. Hit our opponent. Play Mutavault. Take up. Liliana, no swamps left. Take up Liliana. Pass the turn. I think our Liliana's... I think they did it. I think they... And our opponent scoops it up. Whoo! The grindiness! The power of our Liliana's. Sweet! <laughs> Ooh, keep it like that. Run it back. Alright. Liliana's take three. Game three. And I think this is okay. It's not insane, but we have a discard spell. And we have uh, Untadaki, Untadake, however you say that, to speed up our big Lilianas. More discard is good. So I think the plan is just Swamp and Inquisition. Angel's Grace, Angel's Grace, Ad Nauseam. All right, take Angel's Grace, pass the turn. Oh man, if we can find a Surgical, oh, Surgical would be absurd. There's a Temple of Deceit for our opponent. And leaves on top, passes. Brutality. Well, let's just thought seize. Take Ad Nauseam, because I got a million Angel's Graces. Play Unadaki. Oh boy, would we love to draw a Surgical. Opponent plays the Plains. And passes. Alright, so I think this means we Marsh Flats, crack Marsh Flats, take the Swamp, run out Dark Realms. Because then next turn, if we need to, we can cast both discard spells. Search for a Swamp. Pass the turn. And a tap land. All right, so they're definitely not winning this turn. Opponent passes. I'll play Bloodstained Mire. Crack Bloodstained Mire. Grab a Swamp. Thought sees our opponent. Oh boy, they had it too. Well, take Ad Nauseam. Search for a Swamp. Uh, all right, pass the turn. So their hand is two Angels Grace, City of Brass. Opponent passes. Come on, Surgical. Ooh, Liliana the Veil. Well, let's cast Liliana the Veil. Tick up. See if our opponent discards an Angel's Grace. Discard a Swamp. They probably have to discard Angel's Grace. Whoo! Now we get to Mute Vault. Collective Brutality. Take the other Angel's Grace. Now our opponent is down to zero combo pieces. Surge of a Swamp. Oh, Liliana's. Liliana's are doing their thing. Oh my goodness. Pass the turn. And now we got Liliana number three for next turn. We could ultimate Dark Realms, but we don't really have anything to do with it. Opponent plays City of Brass. And passes. Well, take up Liliana. Discard a Swamp. Take up Liliana. Search for a Swamp. Play a Swamp. Play Liliana. Oh my god. We got the ultimate Liliana kill. Fire up Mutavault. Oh, next turn is going to be so sweet. Oh my goodness. The sweetest of sweet kills. Hit our opponent. Tutor with Liliana Vess for another Grey Merchant. This is Exaxes. Grey Merchant number two. <laughs> so we get to ultimate Liliana in the Dark Realms for enough mana to double Grey Merchant for eight and then ten, which is exactly lethal. Oh man, this is so sweet. This is, oh, the ultimate Liliana kill. So ultimate. So our swamps add a bunch of mana. Play a swamp. Add a bunch of mana. Play a Grey Merchant. And play a second Grey Merchant for Exaxes. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate Liliana kill with Liliana the Dark Realms emblem, Liliana the best tutoring, and Liliana the Veil keeping us alive. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. So good. So good. So what do we learn this week about Liliana Tribal in Modern and 
Overall, the deck was surprisingly effective. We got in five matches. We won four of them. Good for an 80% match win percentage. We also got in a total of 13 games, winning eight of them, which is like 61%. I even played a couple more games and beat Merfolk, beat Storm, lost to this crazy Tezzeret deck. So since I built this deck all together, I think I played like eight matches and won six of them. So overall, Liliana Tribal has been super impressive. Like, I, I don't understand why it's working as well as it's working. We also beat a lot of big decks. I mean, we beat Grixis Death Shadow. We beat Ad Nauseam. We beat the Kiki Evolution deck. Those are all real decks in modern, so we were beating some good competition. Of course, we didn't stand much of a chance against 8-Rack, and I think that might be the problem with the deck. And it's kind of a problem with Mono Black in general. We're going to have a difficult time dealing with non-creature, non-Planeswalker win conditions, and even Planeswalkers can be pretty challenging. We lost to an opposing Liliana Last Hope that one game as well. So that's kind of the downside of being mono black. We're super good at dealing with creatures. We're super good at dealing with anything if it's in our opponent's hand. If we have our thought seizes and inquisitions, get down to Liliana the Veil, start stripping our opponent's hand, then we can be pretty much whatever our opponent's doing. But we are going to struggle with the rack and with Shrieking Affliction. We're going to struggle perhaps with Lantern Control. Some of those type of situations are a little bit sketchy for our mono black deck. But overall, Overall, the deck was really impressive. We won in such a crazy variety of Liliana-influenced ways. We won with Liliana the Veil Ultimate, most obviously. Also just got far ahead in games thanks to Liliana the Veil in general. We also won due to Liliana Death's Majesty, generating zombies, making blockers. Surprisingly, Liliana of Dark Realms not only was really good as a removal spell and a card advantage engine, but it also won us the game with her ultimate by letting us double Grey Merchant in our very last match. Liliana Vess was instrumental in tutoring up specific pieces that we needed, finding our Grey Merchants. Uh, Liliana of the last hope gave us some insane fulminator value the one game against ad nauseum we won pretty much because we what we guess four or five fulminators just by continually getting them back with Eliana. so overall the deck was super fun it was way more competitive than i ever thought it could possibly be and apart from the non-creature permanent problem which isn't a liliana problem it's more of just you're a mono black deck problem that doesn't really have a way to deal with those things i thought the deck was really solid and i'm really impressed with it we seem to feast on both creature decks and combo decks with the main problem being the non-creature win conditions that we were talking about like the rack and so forth so overall I'm sure some of the numbers could be tweaked but the basic idea of just going full on Liliana value was super good and I'm pretty happy because going into Liliana Tribal I was a little bit worried because it's not clear what holds Liliana's together as a tribe in the same way as Gideon's. Like, Gideon's, you have Gideon of the Trial, literally has an emblem that refers to any Gideon, so you kind of naturally have this tribal synergy. But I feel like, even though the Liliana's aren't as directly connected in terms of theme or as a tribe, they still work really well together. Liliana the Veil with Liliana Vest. Making your opponent discard two cards a turn, get some empty-handed wins games. Double reanimation Liliana's with Liliana Last Hope, Liliana Liliana Death's Majesty gives us the ability to grind out value with Fulminators, with Grey Merchants, and then Liliana of the Dark Realms is just kind of the weird sleeper Liliana, but it does give us a way to steal games with the huge pump ability after we have already kind of cleared out the board with our other Lilianas. One thing I was thinking, and I probably should have thought of this earlier, it might just be correct to play Ink Moth Nexus in place of the Muta Vault, and that would give us greater chances of just one-shotting or two-shotting our opponent with Liliana of the Dark Realms. So I think if I play this deck again, or when I play this deck again, I'll probably switch Muta Vault for Ink Moth, because that seems like the best way to abuse the Liliana of Dark Realms. I wish I had thought of it earlier, because I would have played it before, but I think that makes the most sense. I hadn't really considered the aggressive nature of Liliana of the Dark Realms, but in our deck, where we constantly have a ton of swamp on the battlefield, it doesn't seem that hard to just one or two shot our opponent with an ink moth nexus. So overall, Liliana's were great. The deck was a blast. The tribe was super sweet. It's all Liliana's. I'm really excited for these new Planeswalker decks where you can play tons of the same Planeswalker. It seems pretty effective. So what's next on our Planeswalker list? We've played Gideon's. We've played Liliana Tribal. Uh, Garrick? Chandra? What else do we have to play? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's our Against the Odds deck for this week. That's been our games. Liliana Tribal for Modern. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.